Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the topic of soil classification. So this is the main chapter we have to prepare for the TNPSC and uh, group examinations. So the geological first we are going to see the geological classification. So the classification by origin. So the classification by origin, the constitution, based on the constitution, we can classify it into two types that is organic soil and inorganic soils. So the uh, inorganic soils is not uh, based on uh, the wildlife, but organic soil is uh, based on plant life and animal life. So next thing, uh, the based on uh, transportation of uh, responsible. So next thing is uh, transported by the responsible elements that is a uh, transported soil. So from that, there is a uh, resident soils and transported soils are there. So resident soils, uh, it uh, kept one place. Uh, so it will not move any place that is called residual soils. Uh, if the soil is transported by the elements that is uh, called transported soils. So these uh, things are most important because uh, so the question may be raised the soil is transported by the water is called. So they are they are giving uh, three or four options. So from that we have to find out the correct uh, option. So now uh, the soil is transported by the water that is called alluvial or sedimentary soil. So that is most important. So we have to uh, know if the soil is uh, transported by water is called alluvial soil. So then the soil is transported by wind that is uh, that is called aeolian soil. So the aeolian soil is tra is transported by wind. Now then the glacial soil. So the transporter. So the soil is transported by glaciers. So the glaciers is called glacial soil and uh, it's uh, deposited in lake that is called lacustrian soil. So the soil is deposited in the lakes that is called lacustrian soil and uh, as well as the soil is deposited in seas that is called marine soil. So those things are most important. So these things is frequently asked in the uh, examinations. So next thing is uh, based on the structure. So the based on structure, the soil is classified into three types. There is a single grain structure, then honeycomb structure, then uh, Falkland structure. So next thing is based on uh, grain size distribution. As per Indian standard classification, the uh, as per grain size, the clay is zero uh, below the size of 0.002 mm. So that is called the clay. Uh, then silt is 0.075 mm below 0.75 mm. That is called silt. Uh, then uh, below 0.425 is called fine sand. So that is fine sand and uh, uh, 2 mm to 0.425 mm that is called medium sand then uh, 4.75 to 2, uh, 2 mm that is called uh, uh, coarse sand so these are all the sands so, so uh, above 0.75 mm to 4.75 mm is called sand so next thing is above 4.75 mm to 80 mm that is called gravel so from that to there are two classifications so the uh, 20 mm to 4.75 mm is uh, fine gravel and uh, 20 mm to 80 mm is called coarse gravel. So above 80 mm to 300 mm is called global and uh, above 300 mm is called boulder. So that is gravel. So these are all the classification available in the soil mechanics and also uh, we have the textural classification also there. So uh, using the textural classification we can classify it into three types so that is gravel, clay and silt. So these are all the classification. Again we will see next video. Thank you.